I feel like as a consumer, the hard-earned money that I have, and let me be clear and honest with you, it's not much. But I feel like if I go to any establishment and I purchase a product, that I should be allowed to assume that I am purchasing the entire product. Allow me to elaborate. As I was laying on my Ikea twin bed that is now broken and gives me back problems currently, I realized that I was thirsty. So I get up, go to my refrigerator, open the door, and what was there before me? Just water. Just water. And there's nothing wrong with water. I actually like water. But I wanted some juice. Wanted some juice. You know, sometimes you just be like, man, I would just really like to have some juice right now. You know, I had that feeling, but when I went to my refrigerator, there was no juice. So I decided to get up, put on my jacket, leave the comfort of my semi-warm apartment, go outside, fight my way through this crazy-ass freezing wind that Los Angeles decided to have this past week, spend my gas money driving to the 99-cent store, now, if you've never been to the 99 cent store, they have all kinds of different things there for dope ass prices. Guess what? 99 cent. And yes, sometimes they have products with brand names I ain't ever fucking heard of. But every now and then, they bring in those products that you be like, oh shit, I know what that is. It's only 99 cent, nigga. What? It's only 99 cent, nigga. What? You know what I saw? I saw Minute Maid Lemonade. And that good lemonade, too. It was the Minute Maid that comes in the carton. Because y'all know Minute Maid don't always taste the same. The Minute Maid that comes in the juice box for kids, that tastes real good. The Minute Maid that comes in those bottles, that tastes all carbonated and nasty. I don't like those. And you get the Minute Maid that comes in those dope ass, like half gallon, like cartons. Those are cool. The Minute Maids that come in those gallon containers, I love those too. That juice is dope. But I don't know why they all don't taste the same. If Minute Maid Tropical Punch is Minute Maid Tropical Punch, why the fuck does it taste different when you put it in a different container? What are you doing? We are getting off subject. Point of the matter is, when I got there, I found what I wanted. I found this. And when I opened it, this is what I got. And what do you see? Do you see that contraption that's supposed to let you know that it's a fresh carton of juice? Did you see the little thing you put your finger in and you pull it out? Hmm? Gives you that nice kss, you know it's yours, it's open. The air from the inside finally releases for the first time. No, that wasn't there, was it? Somebody not only opened my Minute Maid juice, but they fucking drank out of it. One fifth of my goddamn juice is missing. Now I understand, you get what you pay for when you shop at the 99 cent store, okay? But I still paid full price for a 1.75 liter full carton of Men and Made Lemonade, which I did not receive. And I did not find out about it until after I got home. Brah. Brah. Finally back in the semi-warmth of my apartment, only to realize that I cannot enjoy my lemonade because who knows what the fuck was on that curtain. Could have been a dirty ass employee. Could have been a dirty ass customer. Could have been a dirty ass child. The point of the matter, I was not going to allow my sexy luscious lips, sexy, luscious lips. to touch the germ infested curtain container of which I paid full price for, for one fifth less of my juice. Understandably, it was only 99 cents, but it was my 99 cents. I spent that money, and I did not spend that money to get mono, because it is not 1987. I would not put up with that kind of tomfoolery. I'm Amber Smiles Jones, and this has been a random rant. Was there ever a time you purchased something and you didn't get exactly what you paid for? Why don't you go ahead and leave those experiences in the comments below.